In our payroll worksheet, uh, you will notice that a number of our employees worked more than 40 hours during this past week and therefore should be paid overtime. So what we're going to do in this exercise is figure out how many overtime hours they worked. And to do that, we're going to add a new column. And the way I did this is by right clicking at the top of column E in, on the letter E. You'll see my insertion point is on the letter E. I'm going to right click and I'm going to hit insert. And that is going to insert a column in front of the column I had selected. In cell E5, I'm going to type the label overtime pay. When I press enter, uh, you'll see that overtime pay doesn't fit in the cell. And rather than widening the column, because I'm going to have a lot of information here that I need to fit in one printed page, I'm going to choose the wrap text tool. And this is going to allow me to layer my words one on top of the other, and that just saves a little space. So we're going to start our overtime pay by thinking about this. If an employee has worked more than 40 hours, we need to calculate how many hours they've worked. And that means we would take um, whatever number of hours they have and subtract 40 from it. So to tell, we want the computer to make this determination for us. To do that, we're going to use an if function. So I'm going to start off typing equals if. It doesn't matter if this is capitalized or lowercase. Um, if is really what they're looking for. Um, this is a function, and that means that it's kind of a shortcut, and it's going to it's going to expect a certain number of terms um, after you've typed it. So after any function, you type a parenthesis, you open parentheses, and then you're going to see a screen tip that explains what the computer is looking for. The first the first thing you need to enter in an if function is your logical test. And the logical test um, just means, you know, what do you want the computer to look for? And in this case, we want the computer to look in cell D7 and tell us if it's greater than 40. If D7 is greater than 40, that is our logical test. Now you're going to see there's a comma that follows that. So we're going to type that comma right here. And then we move on to the next bolded area. You'll see this one won't bold yet because we're not there. Value if true. So now the computer wants to know if D7 is greater than 40, what should I do with it? And in this case, as we discussed just a moment ago, we want to know how much more than 40 it is. So I'm going to select D7 and I'm going to subtract 40. So in this case, it would be 30 minus 40 if this number was more. Um, and now that's our value of true. I'm going to type a comma because that part of the formula is done. And the value is false. What is the computer, what are we supposed to put into that cell if D7 is not greater than 40? Well, that means they haven't worked any overtime hours. So the logical answer is zero. We're going to close our parentheses and press enter. Mr. Albin or Ms. Albin or Mrs. Albin, whatever the case may be, has not worked any overtime hours. And if we did this formula correctly, we should be able to fill down and see how many overtime hours were worked by each employee. You'll find that we have three employees who will, should be getting paid overtime. 